Welcome to my laboratory. We've had a lot of questions about the head kit, so I'm going to go ahead and post a short video. Hopefully it'll stay short. Um, showing the basic features of it. Starting with a side view. This is the tilt servo. If you turn it around front, you'll see that the head tilts left and right with that servo. The center servo is the pan. The head turns left and right on the pan. We have another servo here for the jaw. This is the mechanism that you attach your jaw to, and we'll get into a little more detail later with that. And then hiding in here is the nod servo, which makes it nod. Up on top, the control board where the servos and the power and the DMX all plug in. And then underneath, ugh, we have your cap plate and then the subplate that goes into your, your head. And there's a template for cutting that out and mounting that. And I will cover that issue in a different way later. So the jaw itself may vary depending on what kind of device you put, what kind of a head you put this into. If you put it into a really small Funken, then this jaw arm will probably be shorter, bringing the jaw back. And you cut out the front of your Funken, and that would be like this. That's a big one. You cut out your jaw, and it literally glues right to the front of this piece of plastic right here. Now the angle of this piece of plastic can be changed with set screws in top. So you can change the angle of your jaw and the distance out can be changed by varying the length of this piece of standard 8 inch wire and by varying the length of this servo arm you can change the overall length of the jaw. So this one's pretty long this would be for either a large Funken, like that the guy over there, um, or for a character that's got a very long snout. But again, all you have to do is take a pair of wire cutters and cut those wires shorter. These are simply 332nd inch wires bent at a right angle, stuck in there. They're held in place by little set screws in the plastic, and again, which tilt this around to change angles. So you have a lot of flexibility on how the jaw mounts. Um, these rods are held in place by these shoulder bolts on the ends that they also, the whole, the whole jaw pivots upon. Then comes fully assembled with the DMX cables, power supply, and, and mounted on a neck like this. This is like one of our standard skull necks, but anything that's got a 5 16 inch shaft will work. Um, now let me run our seance routine. I'll let you see what it looks like animated. The front. Come in, come in. Don't be afraid. Our seance is just about to begin. Spirit. Spirit. We summon you to join us this night. What's that? I thought I found something. <gasps> oh, someone. Spirits, if you wish to join us, give us a sign. Okay, that pretty well wraps up a brief introduction. What's uh, not on this particular head kit uh, is the LEDs. Uh, they plug in, it's still doing its uh, seance, let me stop it real quick. The uh, LEDs plug in up here, whoop, right there, and you can mount them pretty much wherever you want to. For the Funkins, um, I put a little strip across here and mount them right there. And when you get your head kit, that's where they'll be mounted. And the LEDs are red, green, blue. You can control their color with our software. I hope that helps. Uh, this kit costs $4.99, fully assembled. You provide your own Funkin. Uh, 
if you want us to go ahead and build it into a Funkin, we can do a small one. And it will end up looking like this guy, except, of course, with a skull cap. And cost another $150 because the Funkins themselves are fairly pricey. And I do have other videos online that show those um, little Funkins being animated, so you can check those out on either YouTube or on my uh, Facebook page. So that's the mechanism. It's uh, pretty compact, very rugged. I uh, hope you like it. Thank you.